In this slide cast we're going to look at the contractor who's the third of those three main parties for a construction, civil engineering construction project. So the contractor is also known as the builder or the constructor um, and they build the contract works. They are the ones that have the skills in doing construction work. They are the ones that have the plant and the equipment required to do the construction work and they have the people required to operate that plant and equipment to do the construction work. So their job is to build the contract works to time, so they have a specific uh, a set amount of time that they have to do it. They need to do it to the budget, so they will have said they will build the project works for a certain amount of money and they need to, to do that. And they need to build it to quality, so they, so they need to build it to the required standards. Uh, if say you're building a road and it says you need a specific type of aggregate then that aggregate or better needs to be used you can't use a cheap and nasty alternative so that's what quality means that it will do what it's required to do in the case of a contractor their concern is to build what is in the contract document um, they have to comply with laws and codes and specifically health and safety uh, construction is a very dangerous occupation a lot of things can go wrong and the contractor is the one that's doing most of the dangerous stuff so they are responsible for health and safety although the other two parties are also responsible as well the contractor is the one that can do most about it and the construction manager um, needs to be on site and to manage it when you're doing a construction project it doesn't just happen by itself it needs someone to coordinate it and manage it and so there is a management component to doing construction work it's not just a matter of getting out there and doing it. The contractor will usually have a team um, there will be usually a contractor's representative this will be a person that's on site doing the, super, doing the supervision telling the, the, the workers what needs to be done, when it needs to be done making sure that they're doing it properly. Now this is a position that is usually occupied by an engineering technician. So some of you will actually be going out when you graduate and you'll be contractors representatives. You'll be on site making sure everything happens properly and that is a management job. Uh, and it's the day-to-day -day management of the construction work. So the con contractors representative will be talking to the engineers representative on site and they'll be clarifying designs, they'll be deciding what needs to be done, if there's any problems they'll be resolving them together. Um, some contractors can do everything. They can do roading, they can do concrete work, they can do earthworks. Um, many contractors cannot, so it might be that a contracting company um, has all the equipment required to do earthworks but they need someone else to do the roading, to, to lay down the road and to do the ceiling. So that's what subcontractors are. So it might be that an earthworks contractor wins the contract to do a road, but he has to get a subcontractor in to lay down the seal because he doesn't have the equipment to do it, and the other guy does, and he doesn't have the skills. So that's what a subcontractor is. The other important pe people in the contractor's team are the suppliers. They need to supply the materials. So it might be that if you're building a road, go to a quarry and they supply, supply the aggregate to build the road with. And the essential thing about the suppliers is that they give you the right material and they give it to you on time. The last thing you want is a whole lot of trucks and stuff all sitting around waiting for material to be delivered to site. So that's the important thing about the supplier. So that concludes the slide cast about the contractor. We've got one more about um, the other parties involved in an engineering project.